Hello. I am reading a book today that was a favorite of mine as a child, and it's Caps for Sale, A Tale of a Peddler, Some Monkeys, and Their Monkey Business. And I was always fascinated by the author's name as a kid, and I think it's pronounced Esfer Slobodkina. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler. Carrying his wares on his back, he carried them on top of his head. And I am wearing my special hat to be reading this book with you today. First, he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, and then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. And as he went along, he called, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps, and he walked up the street, and he walked down the street calling, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, and he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. This is a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if that they were straight. First his own checked cap, and then the gray caps, and then the brown caps, and then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep, and he slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were all in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps, and he looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree, and do you know what he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys and the monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do and finally he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back your, my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, This made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, tss, 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 tss. Now he felt quite angry, and he stamped his foot, and he said, You monkeys, you! You better give me back my caps! 
but the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, tss, 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 tss. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, you monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, tss, 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 tss. At last he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap and he threw it on the ground and he began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap and all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First, his own checked cap, and then the gray caps, and then the brown caps, and then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Thank you for sharing that story with me. See you later.